Hello everyone, it's your girl Jossie, aka J Renee, back at it again with another video. I know it's been a while, but you know how life just gives you things to do so you can't do the other things that you want to do, you know what I'm saying? We're back at it again with another video and today we are making patchwork hoodies, but this method that I'm using can go for patchwork hoodies, patchwork sweatshirts, patchwork t-shirts, pants, all that. So as you can see here, I've done a few things, like I've been making patchwork um clothing since like summer 2020 so it's been it's i've i love this i love doing it i love making it so i finally have made a video about it and i can't wait to show you guys so before we get into the video make sure you hit that like button because i know you're gonna love the video i know you're gonna like it so just might as well hit it right now and then subscribe to my channel as well because you're here now so just join the winning team you know what i'm saying without further ado let's just get into the video so first we're going to start off with a few sweatshirts or sweatpants doesn't matter two to three old or new hoodies i have cut up ones from before i'm using this hoodie that i got from Foreman mills their hoodies are usually like three for like twelve dollars so i love that we're going to start by cutting up the sleeves if you have sleeves if you have pockets if you have that waistband we're going to cut all of that off so keep the sleeves keep everything else and on the sides of them we're going to cut like this rectangle out just so we have something to start with you'll see when we get it started but that's how it's going to look when you cut out the hoodie part we're just going to build off of that hoodie so everything else we're just going to cut into rectangles or squares more like rectangles most of them are rectangles so we're going to cut as many pieces out as we can from each color that we're using choose a color scheme that you like doesn't really matter as you can see here this hoodie came from like an extra large hoodie that i probably got from foreman mills and i'm cutting off that waistband i'm cutting out the pockets because we're gonna need those for later so just cut them out and save them for later put them in your back pocket you know what i'm saying so the rest of the free open fabric we're just gonna cut into rectangles as i said make sure they're they don't have to be even even but if it's like a jagged edge or just doesn't look right just cut that off and then make your rectangles or squares however you like them to be and i'm using some old sweatpants with this one but like i said you can use two to three hoodies whatever colors that you want and i'm just cutting 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 um these are some old sweatpants i don't know who had these but somebody gave them to me i just get stuff from everywhere so i use it to my advantage you know you gotta use the stuff that you got you got to use it you know so just keep cutting and eventually you'll have a bunch of rectangle squares that you're gonna use to patchwork now here's the fun part really we're just piecing them all together in no rhyme or reason particular way it doesn't really matter just keep placing different colors wherever you like them that's why i'd say three colors minimum are best to have the best outcome and so once you get it all together it looks really cool now we're gonna take a few pieces and sew them together as you saw they were they were on top of each other so we're just gonna take them and put them together and then sew them down you can use a sewing machine or you could use your serger if you have one i like to use my serger so i don't have to fix the insides and make it all look pretty and so now that they're sewn together we're just gonna iron them down every single piece that we do we're just gonna iron it down to keep it nice and so we're just gonna take another set or another two sets and bring it to the sewing machine and sew them down and then before you know it we have a bunch of sewn down pieces the next part we are going to do is add in the hoodie part and we're just going to put that with whatever piece matches up and boom bam bop bada bop boom pow and for this next part we are going to sew down a, a corner this one might look a little tricky but it's pretty easy just sew down the, the vertical line first and then match up the seams that are already sewn that was my horizontal line and then match those up and then continue that seam all the way to the end to make it a seamless corner and you never know that you had to do that whatever you just did and so now it's almost all together we're gonna put on that left side and then boom bam bop bada bop boom pow we got our front side of our hoodie so we're gonna do the same thing to the back and just play around with the pieces adding colors wherever if it don't fit make it fit you cut don't cut you recut doesn't matter just add in all the pieces that you can make it work for you and boom, we have another backside of our hoodie. We're like almost there. The hard part is over. Now it's time for the pattern pieces. These pieces I think I made from a sweatshirt from a while ago and they just fit with this pattern that I'm trying to do. So I'm gonna match up the shoulder seams with 
the hoodie part i should have pinned them down here but you um can if you want to i flipped it over because this other side didn't have as much fabric on it and i just wanted to make sure everything was even and for this i'm making a large so you might see me cut more than was actually on the pattern but i really just need the sleeves and the side seem to match up and then the bottom i just cut evenly if you don't have this pattern it's because i made it so if you can get your own pattern or you make your own pattern from hoodies or sweatshirts that you already have like i said it can work for anything that you have and so i'm gonna do the same thing for the back the back i need a new pattern because i really don't know what i do with this shoulder seam here i just make it work for me but with an actual pattern you'll figure that out because it just worked for me next we're gonna do the sleeves and like i said um most of the sleeves i got this from a sweatshirt that i already had so most of the sleeves are almost about the same size and if they're not we're gonna cut them down as you can see here this royal blue sleeve was too big for the other sleeve so we're just gonna cut it down and then sew it down with our serger so the sleeves can be the same size just like that boom like that bow okay and then we're going to attach the sleeves we're going to turn the hoodie inside out and the sleeves are going to be right side out but before we attach them we have to sew down the side seams so just pin and sew the side seams where the shoulder seam ends at the underarm of the shoulder seam and then sew that down together just like that and then we're going to insert the sleeves uh right side to right side and pin it all the way around so then we can sew seamlessly and easily like i said just use a pattern if you don't have any patterns use a sweatshirt that you already have you know um it works too after we have the sleeves and we're gonna go back to our pockets and cut off the seams of the pocket because there's usually two sides of the pocket if you cut it out straight from the sweatshirt we're just going to pin and sew that down on the front so match it up with the bottom then roll over the top edges and the side edges where you cut making sure you leave space for somebody's hand to fit through make sure there's enough space for that and this sweatshirt is the large so I tried to make the pockets fit the way they should and then you're gonna sew on the top and the two side seams making sure everything is straight flat and beautiful okay last but not least we have the waistband this waistband came from the white sweatshirt that we had earlier so i'm just cutting off that seam and now we have it open we are going to chop off some from the sides so that this waistband can cinch in a little bit nobody likes a wide waistband you know nobody wants that so we're going to cut it off at the end pin it together and make it smaller so that it just fits right around the waist with whoever's wearing it and then on the side seams we're going to pin them uh right sides together with the raw edges facing down and then pull and stretch a little bit the waistband to fit around the actual sweatshirt at the bottom and pin it around and then we're going to sew that down like we did the rest with this i use the regular sewing machine and my serger just to make sure that waistband was in there tight as you can see we got the two stitches in there we got the zigzag stitch and the serger stitch and that is it we have finished and this is the final look this patchwork hoodie is amazing the blue is popping i have my lovely friend modeling it for us the patchwork is great i hope everyone watching this video loves the video and if you make a patchwork hoodie something patchwork just let me know in the comments below share it with me i love to hear about it. i love to see them i want to thank you all for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one bye